We finally had breaking news today. Oh. We got Adam Silver came out, commissioner of the NBA. Finally got a ruling for Ja Morant, a top three candidate for NBA's biggest douchebag. <laughs> if we forgot what happened, we can go back and watch on the Don't Tell Mama Sports podcast. Yep. But he, get, he came out here in, uh, I think, February to Denver, Colorado, got smacked around by the Nuggets. He goes out to shotgun Willie's and he uh, he's getting some fellatio and he's holding a little pistol. And uh, so he gets an eight game suspension for that. And now a couple months ago, a couple months past, he did rehab or whatever, served his suspension. And we see him down south posing with another gun on Instagram live. So now Adam Silver had to crack down and he wanted he wanted to wait till the finals were over. So he didn't take attention away from the Denver Nuggets the world champion, Denver Nuggets. Adam Silver came down today, 25-game suspension for Ja Morant. He will be mm-hmm. ineligible for the All-NBA teams, so he's going to be missing out on a lot of money there. Yeah. He lost $669,000 for his eight-game suspension from, from his first incident. These 25 games next season, because remember, this is his first year of his Supermax contract, these 25 games next season is going to cost them a little over $7.6 million. Now, him getting suspended last year probably cost him getting on a... <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? What just happened is that J- John Morant <laughs> is a top three candidate for NBA's biggest douchebag. He's losing a lot of money. He oh, lost. I unplugged. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he missed he missed out on 39 a $39 million bonus from missing the all NBA teams from last season. He we see his two biggest sponsors are Power Power <laughs> Power Rate. Power Rate. <laughs> you got me all fucked up now. His two seven point biggest... nine million dollars. This guy's a fucking idiot. What an idiot! We see his two biggest sponsors is Powerade and Nike. Nike is sticking with him, saying that he's taking the right steps to uh, address this. But Powerade, they they pulled their ads back in March. They said, "Fuck you, Max." What do you think about? Ja Queef Morant. If anybody is only listening to this podcast, you would have saw that as soon as Cobrezi told me that he is going to lose $7.9 million, I passed out and fell on the floor. I want to make this clear that $7.9 million might not be a lot for basketball players in the NBA, but from these two guys talking on a podcast, from maybe those that are listening to us, Fuck you, Ja Morant. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? I understand that you're young, but holding a gun up, it's not cool. Nobody thinks that's cool. Even the people that own guns and fire guns and shoot, you know, like that are legitly shooting with them, they don't go on social media and try to be cool with the gun grow up man grow up if you grow up over this summer and you learn from this you can be a stud star nba player his talent is there grow up if he doesn't see you later you're in the gutter man no one's going to want to watch you i don't care how talented you are grow the fuck up yeah, he's a uh, he's a budding star in the NBA. He's still only still only twenty three years old. He's got a lot of a lot of success ahead of him if he gets his head on straight. We're we're rooting for you here on the Don't Tell yeah. Mama Sports Podcast. Definitely rooting for you, Ja. But like I said a couple times already, you're you're top three candidate for douche of the year in the NBA. So <laughs> congrats to you, Ja. You got Wait. something right. We got to get five. We got to get a top five NBA douche. If anybody out there knows anyone else that we should nominate for this uh, NBA season, this past NBA season for biggest douchebag of the year, uh, please 
let's hear some comments because uh, right now we only got three. I feel like we should have more than that. I don't know. There's a few. Kendrick Perkins is one. Oh, well, he's in there. He, he's my top <laughs> top dog. I, I, I don't mean to be biased, 